March 11th. Vision. I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision. Acts 26, 19. If we lose the vision, we alone are responsible, and the way we lose the vision is by spiritual leakage. If we do not run our belief about God into practical issues, it is all up with the vision God has given. The only way to be obedient to the heavenly vision is to give our utmost for God's highest, and this can only be done by continually and resolutely recalling the vision. The test is the 60 seconds of every minute and the 60 minutes of every hour, not our times of prayer and devotional meetings. Though it tarry, wait for it. We cannot attain to a vision. We must live in the inspiration of it until it accomplishes itself. We get so practical that we forget the vision. At the beginning we saw it, but did not wait for it. We rushed off into practical work, and when the vision was fulfilled, we did not see it. Waiting for the vision that tarries is the test of our loyalty to God. It is at the peril of our soul's welfare that we get caught up in practical work and miss the fulfillment of the vision. Watch God's cyclones. The only way God sows his saints is by his whirlwind. Are you going to prove an empty pod? It will depend on whether or not you are actually living in the light of what you have seen. Let God fling you out, and do not go until He does. If you select your own spot, you will prove an empty pod. If God sows you, you will bring forth fruit. It is essential to practice the walk of the feet in the light of the vision.